So if God is love, and we all agree and know that he is, the Bible says God is love, then we would be able to understand his love by the way he thinks about us, right? So let's check it out. Let's do a little test today, and let's see how God thinks about us. If God wants us to have the right thoughts about other people, does God have the right, if you will, good thoughts toward us. Well, let's see what the scripture says about this. Let's start now in Psalm chapter 139, verses 16 and 17. Here the psalmist describing his relationship with God. Your eyes, talking about God, saw my unformed body. All the days ordained for me were written in your book before one of them came to be. How precious to me are your thoughts, God, how vast is the sum of them. So when the Bible describes God's thought toward you, how does it describe his thoughts? They are precious toward you. Do you see that God's thinking toward you is a flow of his love in your direction? He has precious thoughts. Take a look with me at this next verse of scripture. Zechariah chapter 2 verse 8. After a period of glory, the Lord of heaven's armies sent me against the nations who plundered you. For he said, anyone who harms you, that's the people of God, anyone who harms you harms my most precious possession. So again, how does God think about you? You are precious to God. His thoughts toward you are precious. Take a look now with me at 1 Peter chapter 2, verses 9 and 10, New Testament expression of this. But you, God's people, us together, we are, you are a chosen people, a royal priesthood, a holy nation, God's special possession. Think about that for a moment. This is how God thinks about you and how God thinks about me, that you may declare the praises of him who called you out of darkness into his wonderful or marvelous light. Once you were not a people, but now you are the people of God. Once you had not received mercy, but now you have received mercy. How does God think about us? If God is love, how does he think about you? Every time God has a thought about you, it's a precious thought toward you. God is for you. He is not against you. God is pulling for you. In fact, Jesus is seated at the right hand of God. The Father, the Bible says, daily, consistently making intercession for you, that you will win your battles. God is for you. He is not against you. His thoughts are precious toward you. Think about all the things that you and I have done to cause God to think less of us than he does. All the sins we've committed, all the ways we, re- we have rebelled against him, but nevertheless, God says, my thoughts toward you are precious. He hasn't changed his thoughts about you no matter what you have done. 